Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes. Hey guys, welcome back to another beer review. Uh, today we are checking out another Hill Farmstead beer and I am stoked on it. Uh, this is Society and Solitude number six. I don't know if you can read that or not. Uh, but this is a 8.1% alcohol by volume, a double IPA, uh, brewed exclusively with Mosaic hops, one of my favorite hops. Um, we reviewed a bunch of the Society and Solitude beers. Um, I think we did number four, number seven. I think we might have, I think we might have did number five too. Four, five, and seven maybe. Four was my favorite. I think four was the one that was the combination of double Galaxy and double Citra. That one was awesome. Uh, Mosaic, one of my favorite, favorite hops. Uh, this beer comes courtesy of my man Jeff. We did a little beer trade and this was one of the beers that he sent. So I am super, super stoked to check this out. I love Mosaic Hops. I mean, you guys know um, we reviewed Sosis, we reviewed Bright. Um, I'm sure we've reviewed other single hop Mosaic beers that are escaping me right now, but absolutely love Mosaic Hops and I absolutely love Hill Farm said beer. So really, really excited to check this one out. Um, I got this growler this week. This is best consumed by March 11th. Today's the 13th, so we're fine. It's two days past its <laughs> what they want you to drink it in, but... Um, Nathan actually reviewed a Hill Farmstead growler that I think was like over, it was like two and a half or three weeks past the little um, date on the tag and he said it was absolutely amazing. So don't freak out about growlers, they're going to be fine, especially the swing top. Um, obviously you want to drink hoppy beers as fresh as possible, but don't freak out about uh, hold on to growlers. So this thing as per usual with Hill Farmstead growlers is filled to the very top, so let's go ahead and get into it. Killer pop on that. Um, yeah, I don't know much about this beer other than it's brewed with mosaic. So, really, really, really looking forward to it. Today is uh, Sunday. It is daylight savings day. <laughs> Happy daylight savings to everyone. The first day of daylight savings always sucks because the day just flies by. But I love this time of year when it's. Uh, I can smell that already. When it stays light out late, I love it. So, um, this beer pours an awesome hazy, like an orange tangerine color. Um, not a lot of head retention on that. There was about, I don't know, a finger of bright white head when we poured that, but it's down to almost nothing. It's like a, maybe a quarter of a finger. Um, it's got that New England haze though. It looks absolutely awesome. I can't see the bubbles as far as carbonation goes, but um, the head went away quickly. Um, 8.1%. There's some alcohol legs with that, but that looks absolutely stunning in the glass. So I could smell that as soon as I open it. So let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. I hope this is just a total mosaic bomb. And it is. God damn it. Fucking Mosaic hops smell so, so good. This smells, again, I always talk about with Hill Farmstead beers. They're, Sean Hill makes amazing beers, um, and he just does, what is that? Sorry about that. Um, he makes awesome beers. They're always just so soft and subtle, and sometimes you get these crazy like juice bombs like How Society and Solitude 4 and Double Galaxy were. This is that same thing. It is just huge citrus, um, so much like orange, it's like orange juice, um, oranges, there's grapefruit in there, there's like, it's like lime or lemon, something, it's just tons and tons and tons of citrus. Um, but underneath that, you get that awesome blueberry note, it's very like blueberry-ish, if that makes sense, underneath all that citrus. Um, it is, it's just soft and juicy. There's not, I was hoping there was going to be like some of that catty kind of dank thing that you usually get, or not usually, but you sometimes get with mosaic. That's not here. This is just a straight up like juice, like freshly squeezed juice in a glass. It's so orange juice forward. It is. It's like smelling a freshly squeezed glass of orange juice with like grapefruit. Yeah. There's grapefruit in there. There's papaya, there's mangoes, there's tangerine. But yeah, and you get like that awesome blueberry note underneath all that citrus. So I'm salivating. Um, I am super stoked to check this one out. So Jeff, thank you so much, sir. Cheers. That is amazing. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I love Mosaic. Mosaic might be my favorite hop now. It, it's been Citra forever, but holy shit. Oh, it's so juicy. I'm salivating. It just, the taste falls in the nose. It's an explosion of just oranges, mango, papaya, there's passion fruit, pineapple. Um, but the finish, you get, it's like there's a bitterness that kind of hits your tongue and it just goes right away. 
so balanced and it's just juicy on the back end, but it's like blueberry juice. It's crazy the blueberry note that you get with this uh, with this beer and these mosaic hops. I can't believe that this beer is 8.1. You could absolutely crush this. Actually, you know what? Let's pour some more. There's no one here today. I'm gonna I'm gonna dome this entire growler by myself because why not Sunday? But yeah, it's like, it's fruit juice. It's citrus juice. Yeah, I, like I said, I always talk about uh, Hill Farmstead beers being like soft and really like just light and just well-made beers. This actually, now that second pour, the like the awesome, like dank kind of catty thing that I was wanting is there. That's weird that it wasn't there in like the first sip that I took, first couple of sips, but it's there now, which is amazing. Um, but this is so much like that next kind of level for him. Um, it is, it's just, it's so, so pungent, so aromatic and so juicy tasting. Um, this is one of the better Hill Farm said beers that I've had. I don't know how they, how he decides or when they, you know, what they do as far as like the um, Society and Solitude beer goes, but um, this is up there with me with Society and Society Solitude number four. This beer is awesome. Look at the, the glass lacing on that is crazy too. It is just lace for days. Um, like I said, the head didn't stay around on the first pour and it's not really staying around. Um, and I can't see, I mean, it's not, there's, I don't think there's carb issues by any means. I mean, it's kind of staying around now, but that first pour that we did was kind of, and I don't know, maybe that's like the growler. I'm not sure. But yeah, 8.1%, there is no booze anywhere to be found you don't smell it you do definitely do not taste it you could absolutely crush these beers so easy drinking it's insane um this is just a, so a showcase of mosaic hops um <laughs> in his Sostis video ryerson said it was i think he said it was the showcase of the majesty that is the mosaic hops that is this beer um this is up there with Sostis. this is up there with bright this is one of the best mosaic beers i've ever had it's insane it's so good it's so balanced it's just like that that bitterness it's just a soft bitterness it just sits on your tongue and it's just juice like on the back end it's so balanced it is it's a great balance between like citrus juice fruit juice dankness um, there's like an earthy kind of undertone thing underneath all that juice but then that blueberry note comes on the back end it's like blueberry juice it's like squeezing blueberries and having like all that like blue and purple juice all over your hands. That's exactly what that tastes like. It's crazy. This beer is awesome. If you are uh, anywhere near Hill Farmstead, and this I don't know if this beer is still on, do yourself a favor and go get a growler filled. This is insane. So we're doing it. It's Hunnets. This beer is a fucking 100. It is awesome. So yeah, not much more else to say. Jeff, thanks so much for sharing this one. This beer is fucking, it's crazy. I love New England IPAs. It's just, it's awesome. I'm gonna have to do a, um, I gotta review that new Modern Times uh, Mosaic beer. It's not quite on this level, but it's really, really good. But yeah, we don't need to worry about talking about that. Society and Solitude number six, awesome, awesome stuff. If you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I am uh, I'm blown away by this. This is absolutely crazy. So, so good. So it's on it. I'm out of here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.